Hi everyone, this is Basic Technology with Mr. Abdurazak and the topic for this video is workshop safety. Now, as a student of Basic Technology, you would most definitely visit the workshop for one practical class or the other. And while you are there, you need to have the knowledge of how to keep yourself safe from accidents. That is what workshop safety as a topic is going to educate you on. Now, what is workshop safety? Workshop safety as a topic is gotten from two words, workshop and safety. Workshop being a place where things are made, repaired or maintained, while safety is being free from danger or harm. So, workshop safety can be said to be being free from danger or harm in a workshop. Now, how do you do that? It's by ensuring that you follow the safety rules and regulations that have been put in place, now, which are not wearing overflowing garments or adornments because they could get caught in the machine, uh, not playing rough in the workshop, uh, maintaining your machines before or after use, operating your machines only if you know how to use them, by wearing your safety devices, by making sure you switch off your machines after you use them. If you don't do that, then an accident could occur. And what are these accidents? What are accidents? Accidents are unpleasant occurrences that happen unexpectedly. Examples are injuries to the body, contacts with acids, electrocution, suffocation, falling from heights or high ladders, uh, toxic gas inhalation, fire accidents, and um, causes of workshop accidents. The major cause of workshop accidents everywhere is carelessness. Like I can remember when I was in school, a lab attendant was working on a late machine and um, he was holding the moving parts though and then um, he spilled some oil on the walkway while doing that. So a colleague of mine uh, slipped while coming in because he stepped on that oil and his hip bone shifted. It was a big case and that was because of the carelessness. He couldn't work for a year because of just the carelessness of one person. So I'm sure you wouldn't like to be that kind of person. Okay, and another cause of workshop accident is fatigue, even horseplay, uh, ignorance, that's um, operating a machine that you do not know how to use, lack of maintenance. When a machine is in a bad shape, it could cause an accident. A uh, lack of safety devices could also be a problem. There are also um, tools and equipment used to prevent accidents in the workshop and they are called workshop safety devices. An example is your fire extinguisher, your fire alarm, the overall uh, safety boots, eye goggles, helmets, fire blankets, uh, some examples of these workshop safety devices. There are prevention techniques also put in place. Uh, they are employed in uh, the workshop to prevent accidents. Okay, now the first one is maintenance. Always make sure you maintain your machines and keep them in good condition. Uh, always make sure you wear your safety kits so that uh, you can prevent any unhealthy occurrence. Also make sure that whatever machine you are working on, you are well trained on how to use it. Also make sure that you give whatever you are doing your full attention so that you'll be working on a machine and uh, you'll be distracted. It could cost you... Uh, it could cause an accident. Now, in this video, we've been able to talk about workshop safety, and we've looked at the workshop safety rules and regulations. We've looked at um, accidents and uh, ways to prevent accidents and examples of accidents. We've talked about workshop safety devices and tools. Now, a word of advice, next time you're in the workshop, ensure that you follow the safety rules that have been set in place. Okay, now for the assignment, uh, make sure you uh, define the following in your own words, workshop safety and accident. Uh, sketch any two workshop safety devices, Why either the ones in this video or any one that you think I left out, and list any three ways that accident can be avoided in the workshop. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.